Hi, in this video we're going to look at multiple layouts to support different screen sizes. Now you can see the default when we set up a new project is that we have a normal screen size which is usually around four inches. But there are many other screen sizes that we can develop for. We can develop for smaller and uh, larger and even the extra large size for the new tablets. So we're going to learn how to take a normal size layout design and set up different layout options so that if it's being displayed on a different size screen we can accommodate for that. Now in this project that I have set up, it's set up for uh, Android 2.3.3 and I have drawable folders set up for my high and low and medium resolution images and I have some graphics in here already. Now if you're looking for some graphics, uh, a website that I like to use is Bing. And if you look at Bing, you can go in here and type in type of image that you're looking for. So in my example, I did Elvis Jailhouse Rock. And then up at the top here, I just chose images. So now it gave me a list of images that I can choose from. And you can keep scrolling down until you find the one that you're looking for. So this is the one that I wanted to use. And you can see that at the bottom of these, a lot of them will say more sizes. So if you don't have the time or you don't have the background and experience in a, a, like a Photoshop type of program to go in and scale your images, we can come in here and find different sizes for your high, medium, and low resolution. And that's just exactly what I did with mine. I went in and I found different versions of the jailhouse rock picture and put it into my different drawables. So now I'm going to collapse these folders just to keep this screen a little more manageable. Also, I've created a colors XML file and a strings XML file. So now I'm going to collapse that values folder and we're going to work with the main XML file. Now our main XML file automatically gives us a linear layout and that's the default. And I'm going to show you the sample layout that we're going to be targeting or creating in this. All right, we're going to have a, a title going across the top. We're going to have three buttons going down the side. And then we're going to have a main content area. And then what we're going to do is expand on that so that we can, if this is for a normal size device, then we're going to modify the layout for an extra large and a large and then even down to a small device screen. So this is the layout that we're looking for. So we're going to continue working with the linear layout so that we can have a linear layout going across for our title and then we're going to break up this area here into two linear layouts that will be side by side. This is going to be a linear layout that contains our buttons and another linear layout that's going to contain the image. So let's see how we can go about setting this up. I'm going to start by dragging a large text over and I already have my strings set up so that I can come down here and put in the reference to that which is my app name and I want to change the size of that a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bigger so I'm just going to come down here and say Okay, and now next I'm going to drag out, we have one linear layout here, and I'm going to pull another linear layout because again I said what I'd like to do is to have this actually broken up into a linear layout and this area broken into another linear layout. So with my palette over to the side, I'm going to go to the layout section and I'm going to choose a horizontal linear layout and that's because I want the other two sections of this to be able to work next to each other horizontally. Now since these are all black on black, what I'm going to do is set the background colors on these so that it might be a little easier for us to keep track of on the screen as to what is actually what. So I'm going to, since I have my colors set up, I'm going to choose 
um, a different color. Let's just go with a nice gray so that we can differentiate it from other parts. And when I click off of it, you can see that it disappears. And what I want to do, you can come back into the outline view and reselect it. And I'm going to set up the layout weight of this to be one. And what that does is it raises its importance. So that means that it takes up more space, literally, on our screen or on our view. So now we can distinctively be able to see this linear layout one section from the original linear layout which has is using a black background. Okay now within here we have more linear layouts that we'll be working with. This is going to be a linear layout and this is going to be a linear layout. Now we did a horizontal here because we want these two linear layouts to be stacked next to each other so that's why we did a horizontal. When we want things to lay out one on top of the other is when we use a vertical layout. So I'm going to drag a vertical layout inside here. And while I have that selected, again, I'm going to change the background color so that we have something distinguishable from the other parts. So let's make that a nice pink. So we'll have pink and gray. And inside this linear layout, I want to have some buttons. So I'm going to come up to my form widgets and I'm going to just drag in a few buttons. Okay, so we've got this section created. Yes, so we have an area here where we can have our navigation. And now we need another linear layout over here for where our content will go. So I'm going to go back to my layouts, choose linear layout vertical, and I'm going to pop it over here. Now it's just taking up a small area. And again, I'm going to, while this is still selected, I'm going to change the background color. So let's get this to take up the rest of the width. So instead of wrap content, we want to choose match parent. And then we can see that it takes the rest of this area up. So now if I wanted to put an image in here, I can come over and I can go to the images and media, grab an image view and put it in. And I have my image and I can click OK. Now since this is using a linear layout, this doesn't give me a lot of ability to move this around and adjust it. I can try to resize it a bit in here, but um, it's not as flexible. Another thing that some developers do, I'm going to delete this image view here. Uh, some developers will put other views inside or other layouts inside. So if I wanted a relative layout, if you wanted inside this linear layout, I want to be able to position other things in here. So I can select this relative layout and I can tell it to match the parent. So then it will cover the whole top to bottom section. And then I can come back to my images and media, drag my image view into it, set up my image. And now I have more flexibility about positioning it and moving it around than I did when I was doing just a linear layout. I'm going to adjust this a little more and I'm going to connect these buttons to the text strings that I already have set up in my strings file. We're going to take these and we'll, we're going to remove the background from them. And the way we can do that is do at sign symbol null. And that will remove the background and now you can see well it also made these really small and, and tiny. And while they're all still selected, I can come down here and I can make the adjustments in their size. And now that this is um, set up properly, I can change this color. Instead of pink, I want this all to be black to blend in with my background. And then the same thing with this section. Oh, what happened to my buttons? They lost their color, huh? So we'll come in here and change the text color to white. And so we have our main layout set up. Now this default for this is for a normal size screen. But if we take this and we say, let's just go in and look at it in a tablet size screen, you can see that this looks not so good. And if we take this and we go into um, a much smaller screen, not too bad, but it still could be tweaked to look a little better on a smaller screen. So let's look at see the techniques that we can use in order to take this design so that it will look good in various different sizes. So we're going to come back. I'm going to come back to my normal size screen. Okay, and in my 
layout folder, I'm just going to make a right click and go to new Android XML file. And this is going to be a layout file type. And I'm going to call this main.xml. Now it's going to give you this, this warning message up here that the destination file already exists. But what's going to happen is when we choose our type of layout file, it's going to create a new folder for the size of the device that we want to design this for. So I'm going to stay with the linear layout because that's what I started with in my other one. And I'm going to click Next. And then here, this is the really cool part about developing these interfaces in Android. Say, for example, we're looking at changing the size for this layout. So I'm going to choose Size and click on the arrow to put it over here into the qualifier size. And then I can ch it gives me the options of these are the different screen sizes I can choose from. So right now it defaulted to giving me a normal size. So I'm just going to demonstrate how to do this for extra large. So now I want to create it's going to create a folder in the resources folder called layout-extra large. And I gave it the name main.xml because the main XML file is what is going to be used. And basically, the Android operating system, the mobile operating system, will display the main XML file appropriate for the size of the screen on the device that the user is using. So I'm going to click Finish. And you can see that over here, it gave us a layout extra large folder. Updated my screen size now. It's main XML. It's giving me a 10.1 tablet size screen and you can see that it looks like everything disappeared here. And well, it did, because we can't have two main XML files open at the same time. So it closed my main XML in my layout folder, and it opened up the new XML file. So if I click on this main XML, you'll see that there isn't anything in the layout section. And if I go back to the graphical layout, another way to tell where you are is if you point to the tab, you can see a little tooltip that pops up that shows you that we're in the resources layout extra large main XML file. So don't get worried that everything disappeared. It's still there. It's just in your other main XML file. So really what I want to do is keep what was in my other main XML file, but I just want to tweak it for the large layout. So I'm going to close this main XML file. If I don't close it first, I'm going to actually delete this. Um, if I don't close it first, then you kind of get a bunch of different errors, and it's much easier to just close it and then delete it. So I'm going to delete, and it's going to ask me if I'm sure, and yes, I'm sure. Uh, and then I'm going to make a copy of this. So I'm just going to right click and choose copy. And then I'm going to right click on my new layout folder and paste. So now I have my main XML for my extra large layout. So of course now the changes that I make in this main XML file will only affect it for the extra large screen configuration. It won't go back and change anything in my normal layout main XML file. So in here we might do some things like make these buttons bigger to fit on the screen and increase their size. So the changes that you make in the main XML layout for a different size screen does not affect the main XML layout for the other size that you've created. So if I change this back to my Nexus 1 or my, my normal size screen, that stays in place. You can see this is left aligned, but when I change this back to my tablet size, it goes back into being centered. So we're able to see the changes there. A lot of times I'll start with just the main layout, get that pretty much the way I want it with my colors and settings, create a new layout, XML file and many of the times just duplicate the original one and make the adjustments and changes rather than dragging everything out and reconfiguring all the colors and properties. So in order to reach a larger audience you might want to come in and create more layouts for different screen sizes. 
So again, that was to go in, um, just go to the layout, right click and choose new, Android XML file, leave it as a layout, the file name is going to be main.xml, and again that's because that's how our Java code is set up to look for main and load that. And if you leave it as main, it's going to figure out which one of these layouts will be the best one to display on the size screen of the device that's being used. So I'm going to choose the linear layout. And we did the, um, the size, so you would come in here and choose you know, a different size in there. Uh, but there's some other options in here that are very cool to play around with, too. We have orientation, so if you wanted to change for landscape versus portrait, you can add a new layout resource for landscape. If you had night mode and you wanted to have different colors displayed on your screen, uh, many devices have the ability to recognize low light situations and can display a different layout screen depending on you know how dark it is outside or how bright it is outside. These are different things that you can come in and play around with and you can set up different layouts depending on these different qualifiers. You can even mix them together. You can say I want a night mode and I want if it's the orientation is landscape. So that means that the, XML, the main XML file that you design this around will use the settings of that XML file when it's in landscape mode and if the device can recognize the brightness and display those options. So you can combine several together. So this is a, a fun thing to play around with and there's you know all of these different combinations but now you know how to go in and be able to set up a new layout for a particular type of um, situation in your design needs.